What is going on everybody? It's Captain Blue Shell coming back to you guys today. Hogwarts Legacy getting right into the action here. Very first day at Hogwarts. I'm super excited. Let's go Slytherin. Slytherin pride, baby. Slytherin pride because as I said in my short, my YouTube short, if you haven't seen it, even Merlin himself, the great, famous, magnificent Merlin that we know went to Slytherin in Hogwarts. True story, look it up. And now it is time for us, ladies and gentlemen, make our own staple in history of Hogwarts. I don't know what uh, studies are coming up, what adventures, what quests, whatever the crap might be that are coming our way. I haven't seen anybody play it, I haven't seen any playthroughs. That's the way I want to keep it. I want to go ahead, have a uh, fresh start, an open mind, clear heart in this endeavor. Let's go ahead and just uh, get into it, but let's go ahead, check out our common room. This is absolutely amazing. It looks like it. I mean, we, we looked at it like five seconds of the last video, our first video. Journey into Hogwarts, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. This just looks absolutely amazing. Well, 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell. And I've always been interested, too, to see what the common room actually looks like with Slytherin. Um, you know, every common room, for that matter. You know, maybe we'll be going through every I common room to kind of see how they way. look, or, you know, like the details of everything else. This is kind of... This is kind of a cool little area. You got your hangout, you got your, uh, your little, your witch up here, just chilling. So, I like the gargoyle. Nice touch with the gargoyle. Gotta, gotta have your gargoyle, man. You, you have to. You have to have somebody protect your common room and come to live. And, uh, how is this? How are we? So we die if we leave our common. That is hardcore. That's some hardcore ruling right there in a the school, man. This is a cool freaking area. Look at this. All the windows. And we got like uh, kind of like some fossils, some skeletons to be looking around. People playing chess. They're going to kick my butt, man. Look, I know I'm supposed to be talking to people and everything, but I just, I really don't care. I just kind of want to, I don't know, explore. I don't think there's there's too much more to explore, but you know. Let's go ahead and go on up with the... It seems that's off limits to me. That's just rude. I'm wondering who our lead is around here because I'm not entirely sure. I think I heard one. Oh, it's an aquarium. I didn't even know that there that were fish in there. Is that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. That, that was a good ominous. name. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Memorable? More like terrifying. I do like to make an entrance. Which one should we? Come on, you know, yeah, it, it's gonna be. I do like to make an entrance. That's well, gonna be our choice. Come if on. I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt you'll need it. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Guys, I have a question for you. You don't have to answer if you don't want to, but if you do, put it in the comments below, okay? Here it is. Here's the question. Are you ready? If there is a school and we have fish that are outside of the window, like an aquarium, like this, does that mean that the fish are also getting schooled? No? No? All right, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Don't leave. Please don't don't leave. I need you. I'm sorry for the jokes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just thought I'd go ahead and tell a joke just for the hell of it. <laughs> no, as, uh, yeah, let's talk to this person. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, snap. Checkmate. Told you. Dang. You just got schooled, boy? And there's me. me with my scar. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Mr. Fig Big Wand. <laughs> Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Yeah, she belongs in the Slytherin. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. 
Precisely. Oh, snap. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not, I, I am not mature enough for this game. I am sorry. She does seem to know a lot about chess. Let's go chess ahead and fan. ask her. You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Oh. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Dang. She's got quite the head on her shoulders. Oh my god, man. She, I mean, like, I thought my horse was high. She's on a freaking Clydesdale, man. Look at her go. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. I like her. She's like headstrong, but she's not annoying. You know, you need a character Goodbye, like that nice in a game. Me. That's that's pretty cool. I like how each this is the thing about this game, too, is like each character that you get to know, they have their own personality and they stick with it. And I'm hoping that we see that develop with many characters that we get to meet. And that's what I love about a game. That's what really gets me into it is the personalities, the traits, and remembering each one. It quite, it really is quite fantastic. Speaking of characters and personalities, we gotta go meet Sebastian is his name. I really love this common room. It's like we're in a cave though. It's Why just like, that? I don't know, there's something otherworldly about it and just kind of makes me like all in like awe and wonder, you know what I mean? What's up Sebastian? How's it going bro? Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Thank you. Not everyone has ministry escorts to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. His we lips look weird later. when he's talking, just to be honest with you. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm hmm. sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks uh-oh uh-oh are you saying some spells aren't taught at hogwarts which ones seems i may have met a kindred spirit <laughs> that is a conversation for another time it was good meeting you good luck today it's exactly how voldemort was man didn't play by the rules so he had to go off and Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh god. It's it literally is just like school. People are like calling me over to somewhere I don't want to go while I'm talking and giving a very, very important point to my friends, you guys, that's right. And only friends subscribe to Friends' YouTube channel. <laughs> god I'm pretty sure that the dialogue would be similar uh in every common room. I don't think it's gonna be the exact same dialogue, but I think it would be pretty uh you know, like along the same lines to get the story across. It would make sense anyway. So we finally get to go up the stairs. Sorry if any lags or glitches. It's nothing that I can help, man. But, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, this is uh, Mrs. Weasley. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. That's true, now, let's not screw it up. your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Good idea. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Oh, God. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. I didn't know they had owls way back, you know, here too here as well. It's are. crazy.
Oh man, I hope we don't get a uh, paper cut. That would be pretty terrible. Like, like terrible. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would I think be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I think we have it covered. <laughs> it's a book. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. As long as you don't write words and it inscribes onto this my way. skin or anything, man. I thought, see, I had always thought that owls were the exams that they made I during would have the time of Harry Potter. I did not know that they had them way back Using the guide will here, like I said. That's crazy, though. To your surroundings. I can't run. It won't let me run. I just have to walk and follow her. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Am I supposed to be looking around at cool things? Because she's really taking her time. Do keep up. It's like she's like waiting for me. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Dang. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. I love it when my keyboard does that. Okay. It's just, it's getting used to... It's getting back used to the wand action, you know what I mean? The PC and everything, my computer, because it, it hasn't done magic for a little while. <laughs> it, it has to work up the courage. <laughs> Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. It's good to know. Open the field guide. How do I get, open the field guide? Oh, crap. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, I pressed it right. I got a, I got a button right. <laughs> like that. Inside God, and outside how the hell did you get over there? She snuck up behind me. Did you guys see that? It was horrifying. I didn't know this game was like a scary game. I wasn't even sure of it. It's like freaking phasmophobia. You know, phasmophobia is actually kind of like uh, tender. Because you keep on asking the questions like, you know... You know, where are you? How old are you? You know, how many people have you killed? You know, it's basically the same reason. Where are you at? Right? Down the long corridor we went. But we did not know that as we were turning ah, around, she had a time. dagger. Perfect oh. opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Flu Your flames? field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Central Hall, got it. So it's it's kind of cool with the map. So Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall uh, flu flames for you. It's so fun to say. Say it with me. Come on, you ready? One, two, three, flu flames. <laughs> That's just great. So now we can kind of rotate the map. That's pretty cool too as well. We have the Central Hall that she told me to find. And so I do believe that we are going there. This keyboard thing is like... I'll be honest, it's weirding me out a little. You see, you see my keyboard now? It's all green and it's like the white and the silver. It's all the Slytherin colors that are... Dude, this is freaking awesome. I need to set my keyboard as this. Don't, just go ahead and remind me. Don't, don't, don't let me forget. It's you guys' mission to remind me to change my keyboard to Slytherin colors. Because this is freaking fantastic and I absolutely love it. Oh, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. This is beautiful. Oh my god. Look at the- Oh! The paintings! Anywhere in the castle. It's so cool! This is a barn! So freaking cool, man. I don't know if you guys have ever been to uh, Universal with the, uh, the castle, but they have like a huge room of all of the, uh, the portraits that are still talking and everything too. That's my favorite part. If you ever visit, definitely here. do the uh, the castle the and the house. ride. It's Our worth King's it. Cross Just like the queue line is worth it. Oh man, look at this! The architecture is just spot on. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today, and I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Butterbeer! Yes, butterbeer. I'm gonna drink so much butterbeer, you guys cannot stop me. You can't stop me, you cannot, you cannot hold back the butterbeer. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. 
Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. What are we like, I an think idiot? I enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And Professor a Ronan. Teacher. Hmm. I want to know who's teaching dark arts, Can though. You tell me more if it's a name that we know of or not. Arts class. Defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Doesn't ring a bell, but that's okay. I know what Hogsmeade is, Thank so you, I'm not Professor even going to... A lot to absorb Bessero. on your first day, and you have much to learn. Nice. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did exactly professor. like school. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. You mean that awesome dragon attack? My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. There's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip to the castle. Nope. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil. Gotta Professor learn it when you keep your mouth shut. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I chose, yeah. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank Wonder what you. she teaches. Hmm. That's interesting. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Nice. Okay, cool. So we got two classes today, guys. Uh, we've got, she said, charms and defense against the dark magic, or dark arts, I should say. Sorry about that. Um... Let's go ahead and check and see what it's he has to say. It's good to see you, say. Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's <laughs> interrogation regarding yeah, our baby. arrival? <laughs> I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. There Understood, Professor. That'll Good. work. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. There's a lot of talking. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do we say when we're done? Mischief managed. Heck yeah, baby. Alright, you guys got it. You know what I'm referring to. All you freaking awesome people. Hell yeah. Alright, so which one do we want to do first? Do we want to do the charms class? Or do we want to go ahead and get into defense against the dark arts class? 
Let's go ahead and do uh, Charms class. Why not? I had to kind of get into my... Enchanted to help you find your way. That was That's weird. Incredibly helpful. That was Thank a you. weird rendering. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. That is true. All right, cool. So we're going to get our wand today at Ollivander's. Even though mine's already pre-selected, um, it should be kind of a cool process. I want to know how other people get their wands, though, too, as well. Because I had to do the whole freaking quiz throughout all of the, you know, the questions and everything. So armed compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. I guess we're tracking that crap. So come on, let's go, baby. Hello, Mr. Bard. Go ahead and continue playing the guitar. You know, I was going to play guitar, but then, you know, I decided not to because there were too many strings attached. <laughs> no? Alright, let's go ahead and continue and uh, follow, follow this thing. Come on. Study your wand with L and guide it along the symbol. So it's basically the exact same that we did in the first part. It's just a little bit different, maybe. There we go. Cool. Alright. That's an easy one, though. Akio. Akio. Nice. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Nice. After me. I'm just waiting for him to clap his hands like. <coughs> just seems like it would be something that he would do. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I, I could be since I'm <laughs> slithering. <laughs> <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> what kind of sport? What are we talking about? Are doing croquet? Because I am one I am one mean croquet player, I'm just saying. That is not croquet. So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? What is that? That's my chair. I swear to God, that is my chair, not me. Okay. Don't you, don't you be, don't you be making any funny comments. That's my chair. Very All right. Simply, cast Akio. Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. I don't know what that is. You just is made an example as worse. As far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall. Yes. What? I'm just gonna now, go ahead and do magic. About theory I... all day, but practice is the best, professor. Show us how it's done. Okay. Now that I can talk, are you sure you're done? Okay, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some magic. Akio. Here we go. Very good. And we Stay died. Focused. Game over. That sucked. Splendid. Not to worry. Strike two. Come on, can we get this one? Excellent control there. Heavens you son of a mother. Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come Done with this up. game. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? I'm yes, hustling sir. her, it's okay. I really rock at this. She just doesn't know it. So I made it look like we suck. Peace out. What is she getting? She better not be getting no 50 points. Son of a mother! You... Mm. Nope, way off. 
That was faster than the practice ones. How is that a thing? That is so much faster. Like, the speed is... Okay, alright, alright, alright. Come on, come on. Come on, 50. That's it. Let us see this. I'm gonna kick her while she's doing her turn. Over? Nope. She got 52. This is rigged. Whew. This is just like, I don't mean to like whine and complain, but this is rigged, man. It's a rigged Achoo. game, yo. And of course, the glitching happened right when. Do not okay. Be discouraged. You know what? I'm really sick of your attitude, little missy. That's right. I wonder if we get anything if we actually win it or not. I don't know. Let but... us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh, God. Why is he so infatuated on this game? I can't play the game if it's that lagging and glitching. I mean, come on. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Oh, crap. This round settles it all. So I have to know Watch exactly this. as to where it's going to be going. Of course. Of course you got the 30, because why not? There we go. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go over here to try to knock her, um, the ball off. Hold on. Wait not for exactly it. Your typical lesson, is it? Akio. Nope. Not that I mind. Fall off. You yes. are not making this easy for me, are you? I knew it. So that's basically gonna go ahead and be our uh, our strategy here. So it, it really is kind of like shuffleboard or um, what's that winter sport with the people with the stupid brooms and they like sweep for a living or whatever? Curling. It's kind of like curling, though, too, so it's it's Do like it's crazy. Do not think I will start going easy right now. We just got her 50 points. That's what we just did. Maybe she'll miss. Maybe, maybe she will miss and we'll be... No. Nope, she didn't. Okay. I'm gonna have to go way over here. And I'm like, I'm really gonna have to line this up just right. This guy's his head is in the way, and this is really annoying. How can I get over? I I'm all, I'm always looking you. over my left shoulder. This nervous. is. You are doing quite well. All right, one's at the ready. Okay. Let's go. No. Still on forty. Done. Yes! Or 30, I should say. Yes! Yes! We did it, guys! We did it, guys, because Slytherin always wins, that's right. Very good, Heck both yeah. of you. Well done. Man, that was like... I'm, I'm just glad that we won the last one. Like, that was... It, it was nice to, like, come back, you know, and everything. Like, so... Basically, I was getting to focus, you know, my strategy was like, hey, guys, there's competition, but we can go ahead, we can hurdle over the competition, because that's what we do. We're Slytherin, we eat the competition, and that's exactly how everybody has taught us, that's what we continue to do, that's how we will always continue to do, heck yeah, baby, stay focused, and keep, I'm just waiting for this freaking game to load, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I'm gonna die before this game loads. Dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. That was fun. It was like a mini game Good that just game kind of. That. I don't know. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. First day. I First promise. day. I'm glad you understand, or I'm holding my own. You know what? I'm Slytherin. I'm holding my own, Thank girl. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. 
My mother received an offer to teach divination. I just noticed she's Before from I Gryffindor. Met, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. That's cool. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. That makes I sense. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Dramatic, you say? Because <laughs> my literal name is Mr. Big Wand, so... <laughs> it's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here. That is kind of cool, like all over ah, the world. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. That's awesome. I really like how they incorporate all of the different... Oh, somebody else is talking. Never mind. Screw it. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. I like how they incorporate, you know, different countries, different nationalities as, you know, using kind of like different... Because there probably would be different incantations for each spell, if you think about it. Um, but it is kind of cool with like the wands and no wands or anything else, kind of the differences. I really like that. I super appreciate that. That's super cool in this game. <laughs> you wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank hmm. you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Yeah, we know. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Oh, goody. More curling. Uh, I don't You're really the know new where... You're student, aren't you? Who are you? Hi. Hello. I would like to talk you to you. to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Ravenclaw. I hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Well, I mean, not all of us can be a super computing genius who always gets everything right on the first time. That's right, bros. That was a uh, failed PewDiePie reference there, too, by the way. All right, let's go ahead. Wow, when we sprint, we don't even have to keep it down or anything. He just kind of runs like the wind. This is crazy. I'm really getting annoyed of this shoulder cam, to be honest. Like, I really need to just set it to where it's, like, centered. I, I don't know. This is just, this is very, very weird. This is awkward for me. This is such a cool area, man. You have to admit, right? I mean, it's just, it's nice to just be going everywhere and just kind of, I don't know. Just like, just enjoying the, like the architecture, you know? I don't mean to sound like so dramatic and everything, but it really is quite like a beautiful, beautiful place. All right, guys, I do believe our second lesson. Are you ready? Defense against the dark arts. This is a staple in everywhere of Harry Potter. And I hope this is just as fun, though, too, as well. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Oh, man. Fellow Slytherin. Livioso. Professor Hecate. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. <laughs> I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. 
Knowledge. Nice. That's actually really cool. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. <laughs> a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. She better not mean me. Because my name is Mr. Big One. <laughs> okay. No, it, it, that is a good point, though, because, like, even the most simple spells can be used, like, if it's at the exactly the right time, you can go ahead and use the most simple spells to do the most amazing things. Like, even if it's distracting your enemies, and then a larger spell, it just, you know, it, it's all few far and in between. There we go. Cool. Levioso. Levioso. Leviosa. Nice. First try. Now, let's try something a little larger. I like how they have the exact same, like, uh, wooden statue dummies. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. Just gonna ask me what my Let deepest fear is. No, that's a that's cost. a um. What's it called? A bit uh, uh, a bogus? I think that's what it's called. Is a bogus or something like that. Is a pony. Is a good. Oh yeah. Now the basic cost. Oh well yeah. Done. Nice. That was a. It was, was kind of fidgety. It was a little touch and go there for a moment, Very but we pressed good. on. But the best way to practice is by dueling. Yes. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Oh, so now. For a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using a kick his butt. Basic cast and Protego. You may begin. How many steps forward do we take? Is it five or? This should be easy. Levioso. Good form. I know. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> You're good. Now perceptive. Thank you. Leviosa. Class, I hope you were paying attention. That is how you pass your Leviosa. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Leviosa. Come on. My students with this adept. Yes, we got it. Did you guys see that keyboard? Dude, that's freaking... That was amazing. When Not he first bad, hit me, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> you give as good as you get. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, my scar. It's like I fell face first into I like a freaking magical blender or something. To the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I like how they spell I practice. I excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. There you go. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So... I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Nice. Their lips are weird when they talk, but it's okay. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Where is Sebastian? Where are you, buddy? Where are you, man? There you are. Here's my main nice man, work. Sebastian. Under the sea. Under the sea. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. 
pass. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh, snap. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned. I love it. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. I mean, I am Whether a Slytherin, Whether it's joining so... a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. There you go. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or actual skill. Oh snap. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Luke and Brattleby. Till next time. Sure. No problem then. Alright, so now all we gotta do is uh, do... I, I think it's just like Hogsmeade after this and then we should be good. He's... Okay, he's drunk. We'll, we'll come back another time. I'll you have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in Man, no time. This is a long day. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Professor Ronan's assignment, collect the flying page into the broken statue, collect flying page against the dark arts tower. Okay. Wait, do we need to talk to him again Professor, or do we not? Why must I complete these tasks? They are meant to give you first-hand experience as you proceed to master new bits of magic. Good luck, and I shall see you soon. Okay, got it. All right, so the first assignment we got to catch a page. This is the that right was like area. there somewhere, and then. I wonder where the flying page is. The flying page. Akio. There we go. Got okay, it. cool. Got it. First time. First time's a. Tr yeah, we got it on the first time. First time's a charm. Heck yeah, baby. All right, dang. I knew. I knew we had to use the spells in some kind of order. I just wasn't entirely sure. It is what it is. All right, well now we got to go up to the the dark arts tower, and we got to get the, the other one too as well. Must be around here somewhere. Is it showing anything anywhere? Maybe it would be the exact same Wait, trick as the other one. Help me. Oh, there we are. Protego. Nope, it was the other one, wasn't it? Lumos. Thank you. Come on, there we go. Okay, cool. We're getting better. We're getting smoother with it. I, I didn't think, you know, I was even going to get it, but it went pretty, it went as smooth as it could. So I'm proud of us. I really am. Learning spells. We're making the most of them. Uh, it's just remembering, you know, where all of the spells are too. So that's kind of the main thing. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Nope. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. What are we going to repair, Remember, my friend? your wand is a conduit of your magic. Come on, come on, come on, we got this, we got this. All right, cool, awesome, yay. 
We we survived. <laughs> cool. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the altar. That's what I was going to say. I it thought allegedly they were going to have us do that. Heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. I don't know where I'm going. Don't judge me. I'm just kind of running straight on through here, but... I mean, it is what it is. This is so, like... There's just so much. There's so much vastness to explore here. And I love doing it. I love exploring it. What is this room here? I do not know what this is. This is... Oh, this is the library. Okay. Well, that's cool. Look at all the books, man. All right, after like three hours of running, <laughs> we uh, we finally made it. So, okay, <laughs> Natty, we're good. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again, and to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. As long as they have butterbeer, I don't care. It's fine. Let's do this. Oh, snap. Looky here, guys! We made it! It's so beautiful outside the castle walls. I've got people on brooms, too. Oh, no, those are birds. <laughs> I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. <laughs> Crap! Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought, uh, I uh sorry to be talking to over her. I thought that the people, like, the were on brooms, but they were all actually birds. I thought that they were, like, practicing for Quidditch, at least, you know? It is what it is, but... Man, this is awesome! This is- look! Look at the mountains! And then we got the castle itself- oh, dude. Heck yeah, man, that is a beautiful scene. Oh my god, that is fantastic. So cool. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take this it is as so an cool looking, class, man. Believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take <laughs> it. This is true. This is a lot of running. We are getting a lot of good exercise. And I hope that you guys do too. It is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Hmm. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. How she talks so much while she's running? Soon. There's no way. Look, from the Forbidden Forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors oh, that dang, hippogriffs those things have been are spotted huge. nearby. Oh my god, huge hippogriffs. Rumors being what they hey, are. Hey, I such, see hogs need. Be nice to have a friend with which you. means I see butter beer. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. We technically got through our very first day of Hogwarts and it was absolutely freaking amazing. Uh, they're kind of like mini games. They're just fun to play. They're kind of fun to do. Not really all that challenging. Although I'm sure if it like on hard difficulty mode, you know, it'd be more of like a challenge, but this is a lot of fun. Um, it's basically like just kind of reliving your nostalgia with a lot of activities, different exercises, and a great storyline too as well, I have to say. Character building is spot on. Love to know, uh, you know, more in depth with the characters. And so next episode we'll be getting into Hogsmeade. We'll be getting all of our supplies and our new wand too as well. So stick around, definitely follow, like, subscribe. I'll see you on that next beautiful magical adventure. It's Captain Blue Shell. I'm out. <laughs>